This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. I'm gonna shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. Cross your heart. Sway in the morning, shade four five. Have the beat. I'm here. Tracy G. What up? <laughs> got my homies in here. Hey. I'm gonna tell you something, man. We got certain people, certain individuals that we we call on. Right. When we feel like the the the, the culture is suffocating, you know, and lyricism is being lost, or you know, freestyling the 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 skill, the technique of freestyling is being forgotten, or just the duel in itself to have a group as a duel like this yeah. um, has been lost in translation. And so every now and then I got to call up my West Coast homies, <laughs> you know, from the IE, the Inland Empire, yeah. which is a place that I always stump when you're looking for dope MCs. Hit Boy caught them first, though. The one and only audio pushers here, ladies and hey, gentlemen. Hey, 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 what up, what up, what up, what up? <laughs> It's popping. Morning, y'all. Yeah. Good morning. How y'all been? We haven't seen you guys since we were um, broadcasting in Los Angeles around the uh, VMA time, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so how y'all been? Y'all came in, y'all really sleepy that day. I remember that. Yeah, well, oh, I remember, yeah. but I remember, Um, this is probably, by the way, I remember, like, beatboxing for J305's, like, first freestyle ever oh, on there, yeah. which was, like, was going yeah. up crazy. Yeah, that's yeah. right, that's it, right. It's always some monumental stuff we get to do with y'all. So yeah, man. Fun. And then last time I said, man, I just like to sit down and talk to y'all, you know? Exactly. Cause I'm, yeah, I'm always wouldn't. putting y'all to work, man. <laughs> I mean, rapping, I mean, I, that's just it that's ain't work it. we like we like we like getting put to your type of work you okay. like to yeah, have test. us exercise these bars yeah. so that's and that all ain't good. nothing okay that ain't nothing right it's, it's like okay but, but but here's the thing man not only do you guys are uh, are skilled on that level but you also make extremely impactful songs thank you i appreciate it you know um um and you, you've always done that you've done um a, a, a slew of mixtapes to lead up to this ep stone junction right mm -hmm. yes sir you, you you happy about it? Excited. What's it? Yeah, okay. Stone Junction is the jab. I'm super excited for it. It's like, the first body of work we've ever sold. Okay. Yeah. So we, like, if people have been looking at wow. it, you'll push all this time. We've never, never sold, sold a body of work. We might have sold some like singles. Single or something. We The Plug was the compilation album we did with Hit Boy. I went number three on iTunes, but we've still never sold anything for audio push. So, Do you feel like fans get spoiled, though? Like, because you give them so much free music, and then when it's time to, like, yo, let's do this exchange now, <laughs> they're like, why you, why, why I gotta buy you? Honestly, I would say, yeah, if the like the EP and the album that's coming after that weren't at the level that it's at. Ah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. But honestly, too, like how I feel is like this ain't for the people who going to complain. It's for the people who actually want to speak. Because we do got fans who are like, yo, we want to buy something. You right. know what I mean? Yeah, like, we are the most unconcerned with numbers kids you'll ever see in your life. <laughs> yeah, like, so I don't care. We ain't tripping yeah. off that. We just want to, we want to please like, like. The people who, like, we got a fan out here with us right now who's from New York who's following us all day today. We asked on Twitter, like, who want to come kick it with us for the day? So she ain't and here. And literally Where? just picked but them. She back there. Oh, yeah. What's your name? Hi. Zoe. Zoe. You yeah. know about Sway in the Morning? Yeah. Okay, put on the mic then. She would have said no. I wouldn't put on the mic. Hey, Zoe. How you doing, Zoe? I'm good. How are you? Doing well. When did you first discover Audio Push? Um... <laughs> Me how to jerk. That's hard. That's I super mean, sick. like everybody in my high school. I went to high school in Alexandria, Virginia, and we had like jerking squads. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we had teams and it was serious. That's and you crazy. had to know how to jerk. Like, you couldn't come to the dance <laughs> uh -huh. and not jerk, you know? And they would always put audio push on. That's lit. And right. then, like, I fell off for a little bit. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. And then you guys put out that song with um, <laughs> Jill Scott. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. and logic. logic. That's yeah. it. Logic Juvenile. And the beat. Yeah. And then the flow and the verse. I was just like, I had a heart attack. I was <laughs> like, this is lit. This That's is crazy. music. This is hip hop. This is youth. Like I was like, yes, Thank you. I needed this. <laughs> and then you guys Damn. put out that song with OG Mako, and I had another heart attack. <laughs> I didn't know OG Mako was fly like that. Like I didn't know he had bars. Oh, and then oh, I feel like bars. you guys brought it out of him. Thank and I was you. like, this is lit. Thank you. So like everything after that was just. I'm gonna ask a rude question that my grandma always tell me not to do, which is ask women how old they how old are you? I'm 23. Okay, so oh, when right. you were in, how are you when you heard Teach Me How to Jerk? Do you remember? I was like 16. That's what be crazy. Yeah. Me. Yeah, that yeah. part is the craziest yeah. part. That's what be crazy. They the seven years yeah. she's been following you guys. Yeah. And, and it, it's interesting because a lot of folks don't even realize that you've been around that long doing this, right? Yeah. yeah. Right. Come as you are. How would you describe, like, because it feel like all the mixtapes leading to this point mm -hmm. um, uh, have been levels, right? Yeah. Right. So who are you guys like when Come As You Are came out? 
honest growing, uh, yeah. growing guys like we're always growing like like you said it's levels yeah. so like come as you are like the ep will be crazy the album will be another level like mm -hmm. it's, we just always trying to get better every day so at come as you are we was just finding it that's when we i feel like we, we found, really it. found it yeah uh -huh. like i feel mm -hmm. like come as you are i remember us we did that whole project on the tour bus on the wayne tour with yeah. Hitboy. boy we recorded that whole project in the studio bus and I, I just remember us like me and Hitboy had just got back from toronto working with drake mm -hmm. and like wait did he just start oh. yeah, yeah, look, nah. yeah. <laughs> nah, look. snuck it in yo. No, no but i only said that i only said that because me and Hitboy. that's my both, favorite drop by the way when I be watching the show and y'all do that, I be rolling every time. Yo, but like we, me and Hitboy, like we have really, I just feel like we have found like being up there with him, he, like Drake just got a different mind state and yeah. he, he helped us find, find us, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Which is just like, there's no rules, there's no limits to this. Tell your story, tell who you are and get on here and just be true to yourself and that's what we did and we kept it IE and Come As You Are came out incredible. Okay, so, now what is that noise right Sound now? like a church. <laughs> yeah, somebody sound like somebody I to a five. Somebody hollering going crazy. Hey, my phone. Okay. Oh, yeah, no, we'll, we'll, we'll figure that out. Um, okay. Okay, so, um, and what did you learn from, like, Drake taught you how, you know, that, well, not taught, but, you know, you 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 were able to feed off that, you know, no, there's no rules to this no more. Yeah, and yeah. For, for me, it was more like, like me personally, because I was like a fly on the wall who was just in there to just be creative. Yeah. But for me, it was just seeing how, he like that's a whole nother country and he's the president like yeah. i'm talking about from when he walk out the clubs it's police yeah. escorting him out to where we driving around it's a million cars from a bugatti to a maybach it's just crazy and then to just see him have his city like his country you know mm -hmm. what i mean all off of music and then come to here and have this our country you know what i mean yeah. it just was more so inspiring than anything so we just was fired up now we on tour with the dude he signed to yeah. Right. Watching him perform every night. If we do not go back on this bus and create and greatness, cracking. we don't need a rap. Like, we need to go yeah. home and just do something else, yeah. you know what I mean? So that's what we did, and it, it, it came out incredible. And wow. We got verses from T.I., we got verses from Joey yeah, Bad. That, that was, was just some, it was a super moment. Because then, yeah, he came on the bus and heard Shine. It was just like, Drake. no. Drake is, came on the bus, heard wow. Shine, and was like. That's and was the like, coldest, this is one of the coldest songs. He was like, yep, we're doing it right. Yeah. Yeah, that's what he, wow, that's great, man. You know what's interesting about Drake, too, is he's very vocal about how women will influence his writing style. Most definitely. You know, so I'm wondering for you guys, because there are some people who are inspired by women, and then there's some people, if there's women around during their creative process, they feel like it's distracting. Nah. Well, I mean, depends on who and how you write. Mm -hmm. Right. We like, like, I love, like, I'm married, but I love oh. female energy. Like, my, my girl knows that, like, it's not about, oh, my God, we want every girl in the studio. It's just yeah. women that know energy, music. Like, yeah. they know they're they're unbiased for the right. most part. Mm -hmm. Like, she like 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 she even said, like, I didn't know OG Mako could spit. It's girls that really are listening to if you can spit. But at the same time, yeah. they want it. They, they want to hear it groovy. It's got to be right. It's easy to make not know if it's but make a sway feel what we talking about because he's a man he gonna get it we yeah, can talk right. but how can, you, bars, how bars can you get easy a, and we right direct how uh -huh. can you get a woman to appreciate it as well you know what i mean them the ones who gonna go out spin that spin that bag and go come to them shows and that's go crazy right. dudes are just gonna name a hundred reasons why you not hot uh, so then oh do you guys gosh, that's true that's to a degree so, real. so yeah, then do you guys think about how your your lyrics affect women especially like young women if you're seeing your fans beginning to listen to you at 16 honestly it just depends sometimes i'm in the studio and i'm like like last night i was in the studio i'm like you know what this is what i want to say mm -hmm. however you feel about it is how you feel about it that's what's going down right. and then sometimes it's just like this is what i want to say and i need them to feel it like this and i yeah. capture that you know what i'm saying yeah. So it just okay. depends. You, you guys got some T-shirts right here, right? That I, I feel like you brought them for us. So you know, what, <laughs> oh what's, yeah, what, what, what's on the T-shirts? The Good Vibe Tribe. You the already know vibe. that's the oh, squad. Like that's that. the that's the lifestyle. Yeah, that's the so this is like our whole like. Oh, this I our, love it. This yeah, movement. these are just the quick prints. We just I just drew that and threw it on a shirt. Like it's nothing too super complicated. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> but we got we got a lot of crazy crazy clothing that's about to come out. So the good these vibe ones is tribe. the first. That's, that's a movement though, right? Yeah, that's a real thing. It's our lifestyle. It's Talk about religion. that. That's what the, do you mean by that? The good vibe tribe. It's like everybody. I feel like that's getting like very washed. A lot of people are just trying to say they have the good vibe Fully and don't really have it. But if, even since when we was super young, every time we will come in the room, people would just be like, "It's something about y'all mm -hmm. that lights things up." And so have an energy. And so, so like as far as like the good vibe, like why I be telling people because we got fans. They be like, "How do we join the good vibe tribe?" Like, like it's not some gang. If you, you want to join it, you're a part of it because you. That means you got good vibes. Like yeah. you know what I mean. If all if your intentions are pure, if you moving through love and all the decisions you making, you know what I'm saying. You're not out to try to 
Like, you know what I mean? You got real conniving people who wake up every day trying to just get over on people. Wake up, like, man. You know wake, what I'm like, saying? <laughs> this ain't that. You know what I mean? Like, we really wake up. Like, we we were at that place, you know what I mean, from Teach Me How to Drag to Come As You Are, comparing our career to others and comparing this to that man and this and that, and that's corny. It's you just, just like, learn to focus on yourself, focus on love. Like, it's nothing. So many people are glorifying being pissed off all the time. I think that's on. the corniest thing on the planet. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, if, you, if, if you're happy, like yeah, if, like if, you, if yeah. you're smiling on a video or something, <laughs> You, you look get crazy. Looked crazy. Like yeah. people look at you like you're cr like it's cool, bro. You could be happy, bro. Yeah, that's what we represent. Like it's cool yeah. to be happy. It's cool to love people. It's cool to love your homies. It's cool to love every like. It's nothing it's wrong. Cool with to that. be in love. Like yeah. it's just fresh. It's just be. It's all right to love the a good girl. Vibe it's tribe cool. is like be who you are. Like own it. Like it don't matter. Like if that's if you're a UFC fighter and you just are mad and you're angry, but you actually got a good vibe. That's who you are. Be you. Just own but yourself. Just man. own who you are and, and have that good vibe. Damn, I want to hang out with y'all, man. Word. <laughs> we make it okay to be yourself, man. man you can hang I'm... out with us, wear whatever you want. We're going to accept you, man. It's when, cool. When did y'all first, like you said, since y'all were younger, mm -hmm. like yeah. when did y'all first start like clicking? And, and Man, since middle school when we was playing basketball, wow. right before we would show up early in the morning before school started just to, to play basketball. To mm -hmm. And he would always try to block my shot. <laughs> So like, I, talk, I could close my eyes. I have I have visual like we was both, memories. We were both dumb short. We was both dumb short. So it was just two short kids hooping. And that after I was there. in sixth grade. He was in seventh. We went to Clement Clement, Clement Middle, Middle School, School in Redlands, California. Uh -huh. And we both were in the, back then, like in Cali, clown dancing, crumb dancing, all that was huge. Mm -hmm. So we were in the dancing. Then we both was in the rapping. And so like. From there, we just were growing Kept up, growing building. up. We turned about 16, became a group. 16, 17, became uh -huh. a group. And, and when did you meet Hip Boy? Like, what was that day? I knew him. I lived right around the corner from him for like a year and didn't even know it. And Ray Real, the dude that produced Serving, yeah. I lived across the street from him. So he was who I was first rapping with. Mm -hmm. And he kept trying to convince me to go to his high school because I was going to a high school across town. He was like, go here. It's mad rappers, girls, dancers. He was like, man, I got this dude that produced. He do beats. Let's go to his house. We walked up the street and it was his boy's house. <laughs> wow. And he was just starting to make beats and I rapped for like, like two hours 14 I yeah. was freestyling wow. for like two hours straight and after yeah. that we, we just clicked and the rest was his Hit Boy was actually the first person like when we because we were both solo artists so yeah. people would see his performance see our synergy like crazy and Hit Boy was the first one like y'all ever thought about being a group like mm. he was the one that said he, it to he where asked I was us, like, like, "Are y'all a group?" We was like, "Nah." He was like, "Y'all should be a group." Yeah. Wow. And so, wow. and then we end up being like, so people. A lot of people were like, "Oh, Audio Push got signed to super producer Hit Boy." Like, no, I know this dude. It wasn't grandma. like Hit Boy. Like, I know right. his family. Yeah. We know Troop. Like, we know all his people. I know we got to see his little sister grow up. He seen my son. We when I first had a son to my son now knowing Hit Boy. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's our family. Yeah, it was interesting because um, I remember when y'all were doing the We the Plug project and. Hip boy, I don't know if he still stays in the neighborhood, but his house is literally two blocks away from my yeah. house oh, in yeah. the valley. Yep, yeah. and he had just yeah. moved to another spot in the valley, but yep, yeah. it's yeah. still close though. It's still close, still close. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what happened to the old house? <laughs> it just it just got too cracking. We was throwing too many crazy. Yeah, like it looked like it though, man. It was like no furniture, but a lot of people. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> every, every time <laughs> you would come through, it would be like right after a little party had just went down. Yeah, yeah. I mean, my daughter was trying to sneak back. Like <laughs> so I saw my daughter, she was like telling them how much I love your music and blah blah. I was like, yeah, your ass yeah. Off. We got to meet Sway's daughter, which was <laughs> yeah, that was sick. We had some of the craziest parties in LA there, so we just had to like we big on like switching the vibes up too, cause yeah. we created mad music in there from recording Jill Scott. I recorded Jill Scott in my room, Young Dro in my room. I recorded like some great people yeah, in there. Like we so engineer we just, it all ourselves. Yeah, like, if we yeah. record, I'll just be on the computer doing it and chopping my own pieces up. So like he was record, he recorded mad people. Like, so, so recording Jill Scott. She came to your room? Yeah. Wow. We don't like, record. Well, we don't like big old soundboard. Like, that's cool to, like, yeah. mix in. But, like, we like to have the vibe like this. Like, we chilling to record. I like to feel can. like I'm still grinding. Like, yeah. I just told my manager, like, we were in Atlanta. He's like, y'all want to go? I'm like, nah, I like our house studio. Like, I like waking up and feeling like I want to go get record. It. Like, uh -huh. you know what I mean? Like, I'm still on a grind. Yeah. And so, Jill Scott, she is one of the most normal. Like, she reminds so me, and tight. I don't want to say this on some agent shit stuff, but she really reminds me, like, my mama, just as far as how normal she is. She yeah. just is, like, she's so cool. Regular. And uh -huh. then she just comes and turns on, and when she goes into that mode, it's crazy. It's ridiculous. But that's an award winning voice, man. Come on. I mean, you had yeah. to be like, it's, I would have been, damn shit, how do I produce Jill Scott? Like, you, you who wanted, knows more about <laughs> singing than me. She knows right. more about life than me. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> it was crazy, too, and not to get off the subject, but, like, it was, it was real deep for me, too, because, um, um, while I was recording her, my homie TC had got killed mm. wow. that same night. So I got a call like, in TC the middle just of got it. shot. TC just got killed. So I'm like, and this is in the IE. So I'm like, damn, do I leave 
this one of the greatest and worst and, moments at the same time. But she right? actually, wow. so she actually like counseled me through it while we was working and like talked to me. And, you know what I mean? Like oh. she helped me get through that moment. And then I went back to the homies, like, cause the homies like, man, stay there and do what you're doing. You know what I mean? You with Jill Scott, like you crazy. But she just helped me through it, and it was dope. So it made the experience even, even though it was dark and deep for me it made it better though so it made it's cool. it better it's something interesting we have royce the five nine came up last week and he talked about the day his grandmother died was the day that his child was born crazy mm. and the same day he met eminem crazy Damn. and it was in the same hospital his grandmother was on one floor dying his son was downstairs no yo that's born. crazy yeah. Yeah. That's, it, this sound kind of in a weird way, but um, I don't know how to phrase this properly. But do you did, did the death, the loss, give you some type of way more inspiration? Yeah, like yeah. I'm talking about when I when they when they told me, <clears throat> and then once I'm like, all right, let me get get my feelings together. Then once I decide like, I'm about to stay here and get it, yeah. it was because of that inspiration. It's like I got to get it so my homies could not be there. Hmm. You feel yeah. me? So I got to really work my ass off. You feel me to get the homies up out of there because. It's they real. might make they try to make that they don't try to make the IE sweet, but you might not know where the IE is, Ooh. but it's only forty minutes from the LA. Yeah. And it's cracking. It's San Bernardino County, that's where the, the, the big old shooting just happened where the three dudes came in um, and killed all them the people. Terrorists. That's in San Bernardino. Yeah. 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 One of those terrorists was my restaurant's health inspector. What? You feel me? So yeah, one of the that, killers that was real. my health inspector. My auntie, we didn't seen him like plenty of times. He go and do we are in it. You know what I'm saying? It's, but it's real. we now that's why we do the good vibe try. That's why we be, we're becoming voices. You know yeah, what I mean? Because I think we, too many people what make that excuse that all this bad stuff is going on, so now I gotta do it. Like, no, you don't have you still have a choice, bro. Mm -hmm. man, you Period. Know, um man, this is audio pushes here, man. Um, <laughs> What's happening? Um I wanna play the servant song. Hey. Um but first, I want to play the song with Currency. Hey, my, my, my okay. Um, I thought that was a great collaboration, you guys, with Currency. He's a, is he a, a longtime friend, or was it just a? No, nah, he's definitely a, not a longtime friend, but, but he's like a new friend. Yeah, but yeah. he was like he he was a fan of ours, and we rocked with his stuff, and so he yeah, was just, Currency, one of my favorites. He, he never was been super a fan of Drought Three Wayne. You know what's up with Currency? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's let's play that man. Sway in the morning. You want to talk with Audio Push eight 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 seven four two three three four five. Hey. Sway in the morning, shade four five mob. That's featuring currency. Yeah, we got audio pushes in here. We got um, we go to phone line. Derek is in VA. Derek, Virginia. what's poppin'? D, what up, man? How you doing? Derek, what's, going on, what's poppin'? What's with going you? on, Sway? Morning, everybody. How's it going? What's morning. poppin'? Got audio push in here. Good audio push. How's it going, man? Um, good. I actually just got into the truck. At, I'm in between jobs at work, and I just heard you guys talking about the good vibe tribe and everything, and. I just want to commend you guys on that. And, you know, it's not only hip-hop that needs it, but it's the world, man. Straight everything up. that's going on and shit. You know, that positive vibe and everything, you know. And you can't just speak it. You got to live it. Exactly. Up. Appreciate I mean, that, with, man. With three music, you know, you can really tell you guys are out there having fun. And, and it's really good to see that. Thank right, you. Man, Appreciate that's what's it. Up, man. I think that's the way. I mean, to me, man, when... When you know when we first start, you know when we got old enough, the uh, King Tech and I to you know just really get involved in the game, and that's mm -hmm. really what it was for us too. You sure know, does. so it's always when people ask you, uh, people come to me like, and you always positive. You know, for years I had this big positive thing. Exactly. Going, you know, and it was that same mentality. Mm -hmm. You know, um, early on, so I can. Yeah. So that makes me a member then. Yeah, you definitely. Okay, are. for <laughs> sure. Okay. What you well, then give me my T-shirt. Yeah. 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 I want mine too. Yeah. Okay, cool. They on deck for Make sure. sure. I got the XL, hey, man. but straight up though, like yeah. that's what it is, though, man. Because real talk, like when I think about really looking at you since as long as I, I was looking, just finna say always that. had the vibe. Like though. yo, mm. my you big brother, never... my big brother is a hip hop head. Big E, if you are listening, I, like up. he used to always be playing Sway and King Tech. Period. Oh, wow. All Period. the time, like the first Eminem freestyle I ever saw was on your show. Wow, Period. wow. That's, dope. that's like damn. history. That's crazy. Like man. it's crazy. Don't man, this ain't about me, man. Y'all gonna make me blush. <laughs> man, stop doing How that. Do you, you you talked about early when you first came in in the shirt and the shirts and you just designed it real fast mm -hmm. and, and kept going and you threw it. Sway just held the shirt up. That design you made, you plan on just taking this further and further because we see so many artists getting in to clothes and different things. Like, how far do you want to go with it? Um. Super far. far. I'm gonna be real. Like I'm yeah, super. I've always created my own clothing. I've always wrote on my own clothes. I've always designed all you of designed our own this. stuff. Oh, right. Wow. And then okay. like, oh, that's we've fine. always just been slapping our own stuff together just because we thought it was cool. But now we're starting to see like, all right, I guess this is pretty cool. So mm -hmm. we're about to just make it happen and expand we, as far as we can. But we like where where we are with it is like we plan to like 
do try our hardest to do it ourselves you know what i mean no diss to nobody but we don't want to we're not going to be looking nowhere for no help other designers no designer or no companies to do anything like if we are we gonna go to a you know, a black owned company or something like we trying to just keep this really like organic the, the and, most yeah. you know real I mean? feel as possible. Yeah, so mm-hmm. we rock it. So don't be in Macy's or Walmart one day though. That's right, right though. <laughs> yeah, and I don't want to sell like nothing like super high end. I yeah. want kids I want kids in high school to be I remember being in high school like damn, I can't afford any of that cool I, stuff. I remember like, being in high school getting P Miller, P Miller shorties, right, 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 right. going to Mervin's, <laughs> getting uh Carl Kanai. That's yeah. what I'm trying to be. I want kids to be able to really be able to rock our clothes, not like, oh my God, it's fault. Four hundred dollars for some jeans. I can't buy that. Good. Yeah. Now they, they forty dollars. Yeah, Go get 40. you some. Go get you a pair <laughs> and look up. good doing it. That's yeah. really interesting because um, Chris Brown recently he was on Instagram and Where? he was um interacting with his fans and they were complaining about the price. I think yeah. he had like windbreakers or something that were. I don't know, I think $100 yeah, or something. Yeah, I've seen it. And then he was saying, like, fuck you. This is <laughs> H&M and Zara prices. Like, if you guys can't afford it, then take your ass to Target. Exactly. I, I, and, and guess guess who going to be in Target waiting on you? Us. <laughs> Audio push. That's These two kids going to be right so there waiting on you. It's like. With draws and all types of, <laughs> all, everything you need. Socks, because draws, t-shirts, all that. How that's, we feel is, like, that's a part of good vibe. Like, it's like, Chris, that's how he feel. And that's how he feel towards his product. He designed that product. He wanted to sell it for 100 and you don't want to buy it. And that's how you feel, for sure. That's his value. Like we going to be in Target, though. Right. I feel like we're going to have Party a lot for you. that. I also like, like when we get super older well not even super older but like just older I want to design my own suits I don't want to wear nobody else's suits yeah. mm. I've never understood why people are like this is so and so like you don't know him he don't care that you have that at all, at all. he uh. don't care like I need people to be able to buy my suit and be like yo I can go and shake hands with this dude if I want to one day I yeah. can listen to his music and it's a suit that he made right. you don't want there to be a disconnect yeah, yeah like people are so proud to wear stuff that the guy does not care if you have it on or not he might not, not even like your race right <laughs> he might not yeah. even like he might not even like are. that you got it on <laughs> straight up and but. people brag about this yeah. I've never understood that that's hey, true you guys been paying attention to what's going on in politics like you got to candidate that you're thinking about that you like if i had to choose one yeah I'd if i had to bernie. choose one i choose bernie 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 yeah. sanders bernie sanders yeah, if you bernie. listen if you hit the bernie live on television you might win the whole thing i'm <laughs> like if bernie it, sanders hit the bernie on your one of your things period you if now, bernie you want him to hit the bernie bro dude. what that would be insane. i mean listen you got donald trump calling people aliens and kicking people out of rallies and being goofy as shit bernie so can at least if he can the become bernie. a candidate and be taken serious at least we can see bernie hit the bernie one time i'll right. go for that you um, know but yeah. i don't honestly really as far as the politics are concerned like i don't there's I not one into like juju says um we're either choosing sh- can i say shitty you're on serious yeah, XM. On, you can say, I'm yeah. a, but so, listen, listen. I love how you were editing yourself earlier. You like you edited an ass out. Yeah, you know, I'm you know. trying because I'm trying. I'm gonna hold it down if I got to. Yeah, we but got cameras real, following so as far us today. As politics, so you can't cancel okay. Yeah, as far as politics, like we're either choosing crappy or crappy. Yeah, you're okay. choosing so, shit or poo poo. Yeah, and so it's, it's like, like, like you want. right now. It's not a place where I really like the candidates aren't like yeah. As far as like voting goes, we're not really choosing somebody that I actually. I want that person. You yeah, know, it's there's like, no one there, no. and so. I, but I am encouraging like all the youth out there that do want to vote to go out yeah. and vote, especially yeah. young people blacks, that die for because that right. go do that. Our people die for that right, so go out and get it. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, it's a right, so you have the right to choose whether you want to do it or you or don't want to do it. Mm. But if you don't want to do it, have a reason, have a plan, and as just to change making where a change you're at. At some point, because yeah. that's what I'm on. You know what I'm saying? Me personally, I'm not voting, but I'm a I'm about it. I encourage people to go vote. Mm-hmm. Why you not I, vote? I'm going to. Just me for personally. Reason, yeah. the it's, candidates. It's, it's not, no. It's no one there that I. Oh, it's okay, not then. anything there. Where, like no one's driving me. Like oh, I want. You know what I'm saying? I get. But well, my manager fully made a good point of like the 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 cool reason too. I guess vote would be like. To make that, sure that, Donald Trump don't, don't get in there. That, right. You feel me? And so I do get that, but I also explain to my this is just on a personal level of something I believe. Yeah, no, you know what I'm saying? And so I think that like I feel like when you elect the president, like Obama, we elected Obama, we were so excited. But when he got in the room, it was a gang was of niggas other, telling him. It was four other dudes in there, like, all right, you here, but we this ain't, ain't doing happening. none of that. This ain't happening. That ain't happening, and this ain't happening. You people know? forget that he has to talk to a team of people to even yeah. get stuff approved. So yeah. even when he and comes so, in with these plans, he comes in with the plan, and they go, okay, yeah, some of this, a little bit of that, hell no for that. Yeah. And yeah, we do that. So it's like yeah. deeper. It's more so like for me, I almost feel like I'm voting for just a mascot, the person who's in our face to tell us everything that we want to hear, see, and say, or whatever. And then, but when they when it, when they're telling you, oh, we're going to raise minimum wage up to 15 hots, it's four white dudes in his back that like no you're not 
And mm. you can say it all you want, but shit, that ain't going up to right, nothing but so ten dollars in, in the next five years, and that's all that's happening. I don't know what to tell y'all. Like, right? I so, don't know. I'm not. I don't know. I just I'm feel like that. if you want to make change, you gotta go make go make it. I'm gonna build an all black university, uh, all black elementary school in my <laughs> in the IE, City Nation Community University. That's how I'm gonna change my city. I'm gonna do. I got a restaurant in the city. I'm gonna do stuff for the kids in my city, and 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 with our music and our voices, that's how we gonna try to you impact wanna change the everything that we can touch, what we can control, things that I can actually see, nothing that I can't. I we don't want to hope for anything. If you want change, go make change. Damn. Straight up. Octane the price. Ladies and gentlemen, Itch. audio push. Yeah. Stone Junction. Yeah. yeah. What, what is that a a, a, a region in, in the IE? Or <laughs> no, what a, that oh, is actually the vibe we went uh, caught in Atlanta. In Stone, Stone Mountain. Mountain. So, oh, okay. So Stone, the Stone Junction is basically the junction, the 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 bridge between yeah, the audio push, IE kids, Taking their travel, they talents and traveling across the country to the south, going and linking with southern based producers and and just catching a vibe there, not chasing the sound, yeah. but catching the I vibe. Hear, and, yeah, we heard a lot of those. I mean, everybody hears the south is on right now, but there's so many other pockets that you can rap in in it. Yeah, yeah. and we just went and filled all them pockets. Yeah, it is, man. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm looking forward to hearing the EP. People could pre-order it right now, right? Not yet. Not yet. Oh, oh okay. Not yet. Not yet. But you excited. could go get Serving on iTunes right okay. now. Okay. But, yeah, yeah Serving okay. is there. Hey, man, I, I really appreciate you guys, man. <laughs> Thank, Damn, Thank you, man. man. Thank you. Man, man. Always. And I've been wanting to just sit down and talk with you next time. Yeah. South by Southwest, if y'all around, man, come do the we show. Definitely, definitely we definitely always pull okay. up every time. We pulling up. Okay, then I'm going to ask you to rap. Yeah. All right, let's <laughs> get it. Right. Done. Let's get it. Thank you very much, man. I'm really proud of y'all, man. And, Thank you. And, to, and, and I'm proud of Hip Boy. Straight up. Because, you know, I know a little bit what's going on with him. Yeah. And mm-hmm. um, um, he's holding he's holding steady. He's, yeah. He's giving a lot of folks opportunity. Yeah. One of the most humble dudes you're going to meet. Straight up. Extremely talented, you know. Um, you know, the, y'all have the whole coalition too, right? <laughs> yeah. And, you know, who's all in like the crew now? HS eighty uh, seven. It's still like it's, it's still the, the gang. Still so, the like you said, first of all, I want to just super shout out Hit Boy because, like, regardless of the fact that we did grow up with him, yeah. Once Jimmy Iovine did give him the deal, the first person he, he called, called was me. Yeah. The first people wow. he wanted to sign was us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He that's got, our he got a pure heart, man, and that's hard to find Period. anywhere, like in just life in general. And he's actually, and so hi, there's ghost writers as far as rappers understand people. There's lots of ghost producers 90 percent of these producers are not making their beats they're not sitting there right they got a gang of little homies tossing at beats. all there there's like 70 people making them and all they're doing is throwing their tags and i promise this on my son and hit when boy, i tell you hit boy really has his he just makes his beats hb it. and then the number and i've seen like 10 10 45 yeah, yeah. Like, hb 10 45 means a thousand forty four five five beats all and that's how he him. names that's his how beats. we oh, wow. hit boy b care um ray real s dot be nice, you know. We got squad, kid yeah. money, be yeah. Mac. It's it's the team, you know what I mean? HS eighty seven. So a lot of these hits we're hearing by certain producers probably were produced by Hit Boy, but he don't get the. Or no, no, oh, no, 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 Hit no. don't be oh. ghost producer. See, see, oh, no, okay. see, but you'll hear a you'll hear okay. you'll hear a, you'll you'll hear a beat. Okay, don't listen to me, man. All y'all, nah. favorite, listen, all y'all favorite beat tag. A lot of y'all favorite beat tags, and mm-hmm. you hear that beat and you hear that tag, and you like, oh man, he here, it. here he go again. <laughs> here he go him. again. Well, yeah. nah, that was his little homie. He might have added a snare and, and was he like, gave okay, ten percent of the beat for me. Probably gave him two, four, two, three racks. But to each his own, get how you live. I only said that to say Hit Boy is Makes producing sense. that. Okay. Audio push. There ain't no there ain't no assistance in the kitchen with us. We chefing up everything. Y'all write on your lyrics? Man, we what? chefing up everything. You come on you here and not write nothing and go crazy. Yeah. Of course we write our own okay. lyrics. So you know what's up. All right. But that's the squad. Just say seven B O dub. Good vibe tribe we here. Okay. There it is. Audio push, man. Give them a round of applause. Yeah. Much love. All right, much love to you guys. It's a serving, man. You can get this right now. Um uh, on iTunes, yeah. support these guys. They'll be with us on South by Southwest. Yes, sir. Oh. And up next, we got Anthony Hamilton. Sway in the morning, Shay hey. 45. Yeah. It's Sway in the morning. Only on Shay 45.